Today, our objective is to understand and correctly solve equations involving a midpoint. To begin, draw and label a line segment AB. A line segment AB has endpoints A and B. Now plot a point in the exact middle of AB and label it M. There's my estimate of the exact middle, and that's M. What can you tell me about segment AM and MB? Hmm. If M is in the exact middle, then the distance from A to M is the same as the distance from M to B. That means that the length of segment AM is equal to the length of MB. The definition of a midpoint is the point in the exact middle. The midpoint is the same distance from either endpoint. And there's actually a word for same distance. We use equidistant. The midpoint is equidistant to the endpoints. It is the same distance from either endpoint. Amy and Brian stand 20 feet apart. Alondra stands in the exact middle point of where Amy and Brian are. Draw a picture and label all lengths you know. Okay, so I have Amy and Brian. And Alondra is in the exact middle between them. Label all lengths you know. Okay, Amy and Brian stand 20 feet apart. So I know this is 20 feet. Do I know any other lengths? Do I know the distance from Amy to Alondra and the distance from Alondra to Brian? Well, yes, I do. If she's in the exact middle, then she's halfway between them. So I just need to take the entire length, the entire distance, and divide it by two to find these separate lengths. Amy stands 10 feet from Alondra, and Alondra stands 10 feet from Brian because she's in the exact middle. We could also use an equation like we did with line segment addition. So we don't know the distance from Amy to Alondra, let's pretend, and we don't know the distance from Alondra to Brian, but we know that they are the same. So I'm going to choose a variable, x, and if the distance from Amy to Alondra is x, then I already know the distance from Alondra to Brian is also x. So, in order to complete the equation, part plus part equals whole, one of the parts is x, the other part is also x, and the distance between the ends is 20. And in order to solve that, x plus x equals 20, I would combine like terms and get 2x equals 20. Divide both sides by 2 to get x with a coefficient of 1, x equals 10. And our units were in feet. So we were correct that the distance between Amy and Alondra is 10 feet as is the distance between Alondra and Brian. Point U is the midpoint of LV. Find the lengths of LU and UV. Because we know that U is the midpoint, 
we know that the length of LU is equal to the length of UV. Segment LU is equal to segment UV. Another way we can remember to set up our equation is part equals part. So to set up my equation, I will take the first part, which is LU, 2x plus 12, and make it equal to the second part, which is UV, x plus 9. And this is the equation that I need to solve. 2x plus 12 equals x plus 9. I have no like terms on either side, so I need to use inverse operations. To begin, I will subtract 12. That gives me 0, so 2x is all that's left on the left side, x minus 3. To bring the x to the left side, I subtract x. 2x minus x is 1x x minus x is 0, and 0 minus 3 is negative 3. But I didn't complete the problem, because it asked me to find the lengths of LU and UV. LU was this yellow portion, 2x plus 12, and UV was the blue portion, x plus 9. So in order to find their actual lengths, I need to plug in negative 3 for x. LU is equal to 2 times negative 3 plus 12. Negative 6 plus 12 equals 6. Now let's test UV. Plug in negative 3. Negative 3 plus 9 is also 6. Yay! That's what we needed. In order to check, we make sure that the lengths of each segment are indeed equal. Because if U is the midpoint of LV, then LU is equal to UV. They are the same distance. Sandy is standing 50 feet from the base of a building. There is a tree standing directly at the midpoint between Sandy and the building. If Sandy is 2x plus 5 feet from the tree, find the value of x. Ooh, interesting. Well, let's draw a picture. I am a visual learner, so I need to see a picture. However, I am not much of an artist. Now there is a tree supposed to be halfway in between. It's going to be a palm tree because we live in California. So now that we have this um, stunning diagram, we are going to fill in any lengths that we may know. Sandy is standing 50 feet from the base of the building. So the distance between Sandy and the base of the building is 50 feet. That is good to know. There's another length that they gave us and that was Sandy is 2x plus 5 feet from the tree. So this distance right here is 2x plus 5 feet. To set up our equation for midpoint, part equals part. So 2x plus 5 feet should equal this distance. But do I know that distance? Hmm. Some of you say, well, if the yellow is equal to the blue, then I know that the blue distance is 2x plus 5 as well. But if we make 2x plus 5 equal to 2x plus 5, that's not going to help us solve for x because it will just end up getting 0 equals 0. So do we know this distance? 
Well, remember that the entire distance is 50 feet, which means that half of that distance is 25 feet. So really, Sandy's distance from the tree is equal to 25 feet. 2x plus 5 equals 25 is our equation. Now there are other ways that you also could have solved it using what we did last week with segment addition, but this is how I'm going to show you today. 2x plus 5 equals 25. Use inverse operations to get the 5 to the other side. That is 2x plus 0, so 2x equals 20. 1x equals 10. So x is just equal to 10 feet. Sandy's distance from the tree is, we already know, 25 feet. And the distance from the tree to the building is 25 feet. So to recap, segment addition is taking the part plus the part and making it equal to the length of the entire line segment. For midpoint, we know that the point is exactly in the middle. So we make part equal part. 2x plus 1 equals 10x minus 15. And that's the equation that we would solve. Let's go ahead and do that. I will subtract 2x to get the x's together. That is 0 plus 1 equals 10x minus 2x is 8x minus 15. Now I'm going to get that 15 to the other side by adding it. Inverse operations. 15 plus 1. That is 16 equals 8x. Divide both sides by 8, and x equals 2. And what would the length of these segments be if x is equal to 2? You simply plug that x in. So 2 times 2 plus 1 is 4 plus 1 is 5. And here, 10 times 2 minus 15 20 minus 15 is also 5. Be sure to check that your segments are equal in length because that's what it means to have a midpoint. Each part is equal.